You want to build wealth? Get out of somebody else's goals and vision and life and get to your own. These eight money rules are gonna help you build wealth. No, I can't buy this today because it doesn't align with my vision. No, I can't do this today because it doesn't align with my vision. No, Anthony, you don't need this new car. No, Anthony, you don't need to go out on date with her. No, Anthony, no, Anthony, no, Anthony, no, Anthony, why? We're one vision away. In a journey towards financial freedom and wealth accumulation, having a set of guide guided, I mean, I, yeah, I, that's what I'm gonna say, guided principles uh, can make all the differences in the world. As someone who champions building wealth without racking up any debt and fostering financial independence, I firmly believe in the power of having money rules and money guidelines to steer me towards my vision for my money. But we can't have any money rules and money guidelines if we don't have the literacy or, and I would say the financial literacy that will help us get there. A lot of us don't really understand the basic things of finances. We don't really understand. We've heard of the term 401k. We've heard of the term Roth IRA. We've heard of the term brokerage accounts, but we really don't have the information and the literacy to help us really understand how to make the best decisions, which I'm so excited because this month throughout the April, uh, which is Financial Literacy Month, we are honestly giving away this information. Not only are we giving away the basic information of what you need to know so that way you can make better financial decisions, but we're also giving away $20,000 this month to you, to your family. Vacations, a Roth IRA, we're doing it all as a matter of fact check out this quick commercial. Fam, I got a question. Are you ready for an April like no other? Well, I want you to get pumped because we're about to make it rain with our April is lit $20,000 giveaway powered by my friends at SmartWiz. I want you to imagine this. Come here, come here, come closer. You and your ride or die are on a $5,000 vacation of your wildest dreams or kickstart your financial future with $1,000 towards an IRA or an investment account. That's pretty sweet, right? But hold on to your seats, baby, because it's about to get even better. I want you to join us for April is Lit Financial Literacy Month, where education meets opportunity. I want you to amp up your financial know-how, treat yourself to a well-deserved breather, and master the art of smart money management. Here's how you can get involved with all this excitement. It's simple. Go to anthonyoneal.com to register for 100% free. And you got to subscribe to the YouTube and Apple podcast channels to qualify for the chance to snag one of these incredible prizes. This is $20,000. So don't let this opportunity slip through your fingers. Take charge of your, of your financial destiny and stand a chance to win big. Join us for the April is Lit and let's make this month a month that we cannot forget. Visit anthonyoneal.com right now to register and check out today's show notes for the link. All right, let's get to today's show. So listen, I want you to go to anthonyoneal.com right now and sign up and register because I want you to not only enter in to win these amazing gifts and amazing prizes that we're giving away, but most importantly, I want you to get the information so that you can change the caliber of your future. Because remember, I say this often, the financial caliber of your future, the 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 quality, the 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 clarity is depending on the financial decisions that you make. And in order to make the right decisions, we have to have the information to do that. So throughout this month, we're giving you all the information. And hey, you may be able to take a vacation on me and my team this summer. But listen, these rules that we're going to go over today serve as a compass. It's keeping, it, it, it really keeps me focused and disciplined amidst the complexities of managing finances in today's world. You know, we have all these things of now you're single, you gotta spend a lot of money on dating. You, you feel pressure to have this kind of car and this kind of house and these kind of clothes, and, and I get it. But each of these money rules has been carefully crafted 
through years of experience, learning, and adapting to the ever-changing landscape of personal finances. One of the key things my father taught me was to learn how to adapt, adjust, and to overcome. And so these money rules that I'm going through today are going to teach you how to adapt, adjust, and to overcome. They are not just these restrictions, right? These are not restrictions, but rather strategic decisions aimed at optimizing not just my financial well-being, but also your financial well-being, if you listen and you, and you apply these. But this is going to help you create a path to lasting financial freedom. So in today's show, I'm going to dive into pretty much eight money rules and how they contribute to financial success. From prudent saving habits to strategic investment decisions, each rule plays a crucial role in shaping your financial future. By sharing these insights, I hope to inspire you to take control of your finances and embark on a journey towards true financial freedom. But before I get into the eight money rules that has helped me build my wealth, I need you to do me a favor. Hit that like button, hit that thumbs up button, and most importantly, if you listen to this on podcasts and or on YouTube, subscribe to the E3 community, hit the subscribe button, and share this video. If you're dating someone, if you love someone, hey, send them these rules that will help them change their finances forever. So hit that thumbs up if you're watching this on YouTube. And if you listen to this on podcasts and or watching this on YouTube, join the E3 community by hitting that subscribe button. All right. Here's the very first money rule. I say this all the time. You got to have a clear vision. I need you to define your financial goals and aspirations. Having a clear vision provides direction and motivation for your wealth building journey. Listen, when I talk about having a clear vision, I'm really going to be breaking this down in a whole nother show. But there is a foundation of what what I'm teaching. Uh, I'm teaching when it comes to uh, when it comes to what I say, uh, building wealth. I have this 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 acronym for EARN. Number E is got to evaluate your finances. A, you got to arrange your vision. Once you arrange your vision, then you got to, you know, render your strategy. And then in, you got to now act. If you don't have a clear vision for where you want to go, if you don't, if you can't identify, this is good, listen to me. If you can't identify by, Year 20, I want to be there. Okay, if I'm going to be there by year 20, by year 10, I need to be here. Okay, if I'm going to get there by 10, I need to be here by year 5. Okay, cool. Now I need each year to line up to the first five years, then the next 10 years line up to the 10. You got to have a clear vision of where you want to go. And so for me, I don't make any decision that's not contributing uh, contributing to my vision. If it can't help me get there, I'm not doing it. This means that if you're single and you're dating someone and, 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 and brothers, she is expensive. She doesn't care about your vision. She only cares about what she gets. That's not the woman for you. Sisters, if you have all this education and God puts something on the inside of you and, 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 and you know this is where you need to go and you get a man who can't help you get there with your financial goals, that's not the man for you. Why are you getting that car and that car is going to slow you down from getting to that vision? Why are you getting this expensive item and that item is getting you closer, not closer to your vision? Why are you spending $3,000 on this when you can put $3,000 into an investment that's going to get you closer to your wealth building vision? You have to define your financial goals and aspiration. If you want to get out of debt, why are you still charging that credit card? If, if you want to purchase a home, why did you go out and purchase this expensive car? If, 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 if you want to experience true financial freedom, why are you spending the money the way that you're spending it? Why do you not have a vision? Why are you not just sitting there? Oof, oof. I said this on Instagram a couple of couple of weeks ago, and I meant what I said. Some of us are a written vision away from true financial freedom. Say this one more time. Some of us are a written vision away 
from true financial freedom. What do you mean by that, Anthony? The reason why you're not experiencing what you want to experience is because you haven't taken the time to write down the vision. You see, the vision holds you accountable. The reason why some of you don't want to write it down is because you don't want to be held accountable if you don't accomplish it. You don't want to look at your own self in the mirror. Oh, I'm about to go upside somebody's head. You don't want to look at your own self in the mirror and tell your own self you're not doing what you need to be doing, but you would love to get on Instagram and tell somebody else what they should be doing with their life, how they should have responded, what they should have done, what I should have done, but you haven't done it for yourself. We quit to judge everybody else. We're quick to tell them, hey, you should do this with your life. Girl, don't date him. Bro, what are you doing? Bro, bro, girl, girl, bro. But what the heck are you doing with yourself? What's your vision? You want to build wealth? Get out of somebody else's goals and vision in life and get to your own goals and vision in life. Because these eight money rules are going to help you build wealth. And being in somebody else's vision and somebody else's business is taking you away from theirs. I got to go. I don't want to live too long on this one. But some of us are one vision. We're one vision away from wealth. I'm, I'm going to say this too. I'm going to say this too before I go into number two. Not only are we, not only are we a vision away, but we're one no. We're two no's away from having wealth. What do you mean by two no's away from having wealth, Anthony? It's simple. No, I can't afford that because it doesn't align with my vision. No, I can't buy this today because it doesn't align with my vision. No, I can't do this today because it doesn't align with my vision. No, Anthony, you don't need this new car. No, Anthony, you don't need to go out on date with her. No, Anthony, no, Anthony, no, Anthony, no, Anthony. Why? Because I can't afford to miss out on things that's going to help me get to my vision. No. Family, I can't loan you money. No, family, I can't afford to give you money. Oh, but you got money. I still can't afford to give it to you because that doesn't align with my vision. That rule right there, and that's what I tell people. I'm like, it's not personal. It just doesn't align with my vision. So my vision is saying no. My vision is saying yes. My vision is saying pause. My vision is saying slow down. Listen to me, married people. If you can get a clear vision, you will stop money arguments. This is not marriage advice. This is, this is money marriage advice, how to deal with your money inside of marriages. If you can write down this clear vision for your money, you don't have to tell your wife no. You don't have to argue with your husband on why we're doing this because we can now point back to the vision. Hey, we came up with this vision. We said this is what we're doing with our money. We're sending our kids to college debt free. We're going to give them some money when they uh, graduate college. We're going to buy the first car. We're going to get the house. We're going to get the insurance policy. We're going to set up a legacy. So this is the vision. The vision is saying no. If you can get a clear vision, this will save 50% of marriages, guaranteed. Let me keep going. I get passionate about this stuff. I get passionate about it. I get passionate about it. I get passionate about it. Here's number two. Keep six months of your average income inside of a HYSA. This is a health savings account. You see, maintaining an emergency fund equivalent to at least six months, I'll say three to six months of your average income in a high yield savings account, you sleep better. You, 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 you walk around better. You, you have this level of freedom. I'm going to tell you, man, uh, this is one thing that I tell my team, right? You know, in, in, in a business, yo, listen, um, I tell all of them, like, I want you to have at least three months saved because life could happen. Like life could happen. In today's world, we see companies are laying people off, but you work better. You walk into your job knowing, okay, if something was to happen, happen, at least I have three months to make a transition. And I tell this to all my team members, I tell this to you too, you, you, you walk around different. I walk around different being a business owner knowing that I have at least a year on my personal side saved. And then I have, we're not at a year yet for the business side, but that's my goal to get there, right? 
it just feels different when I walk in. But I hear you. I hear you. Some of you are saying, hey, you know what, Anthony, I hear you, but I don't make a lot of money right now. And it's going to take me a long time, a long time to generate extra money because I'm only making $50,000 a year. I'm only making $60,000 a year. Some of you may be making $70,000 a year, but you got a big family and you need another $20,000, $30,000 pay raise. And let me tell you right now, the best way, the best way to get a quick pay raise is in the tech industry. I'm, I'm going to be saying this for the next five, 10 years. I have sat down with so many people who are working in the tech industry who went from making $60,000 a year to $110,000 a year. I met a young kid two years ago who does all my website. He went from making $30,000 a year to $125,000, $30,000 a year. I pay this kid like almost $1,200 a month. Just had his second child. He's killing a game, but it's because of the tech industry. And I want to introduce you to my peers. Check them out. What's going on, fam? I want to thank my friends over at Bethel Tech for sponsoring today's video. Bethel Tech's micro credential program. Just 15 weeks and you're on your way to mastering in-demand tech skills, setting you apart in today's competitive job market. And the best part, it's all online, 100% online and fitting perfectly into your busy life. Bethel Tech isn't just about tech skills, it's about growing your character through spiritual mentorship and faith groups, shaping you into a Christian leader in the tech world. You'll learn from industry experts geared towards your success. What about landing your dream job? Bethel Tech's graduates are making waves at companies like Salesforce and Dell. And with a price tag of only $5,000, it's an investment in your future that's both affordable and valuable. Are you ready to start? With multiple start dates, there's never been a better time. Visit anthonyoneal.com forward slash Bethel. Again, that is anthonyoneal.com forward slash Bethel and step into your tech career with confidence and character. So listen, you guys, I want you to go to anthonyoneal.com forward slash Bethel. Um, and I promise you, you will learn so much over there. I love Bethel Tech on what they are doing and how they're really making uh, education affordable and quick and getting you into the tech industry uh, that is allowing people to work less hours, watch this, and have more money. So we gone, it, 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 it's just phenomenal. So I don't want to repeat what you just heard, but go to anthonyoneal.com forward slash Bethel. Bethel. But when it comes to when, when it comes to putting your money into a high yield savings account, this fund is going to act as a financial safety net in case of unexpected expenses and or job losses. Right. Because um, I just had a, a water leak. They, they put a pool. They put they're building a pool in my backyard and accidentally they busted a pipe. And so thankfully, because I live below my means, I didn't have to activate uh, my emergency fund, right? Uh, but I was able to pay for it cash out of my checking account. But let's just say for an example, I didn't have that. I, I still wouldn't have been tripping because I, I literally have been practicing what I preach. And some of y'all say, well, Anthony, you used to say three to six months of your expenses. And here's why I say three to six months of your average salary. Um, if you want to start off by putting three to six months of your expenses and then upping that to three to six months of your salary. And here's why I say that, because I, I don't have to change my life in case something happens. So if, if life happens, if, if, if you were to lose a job, you can still pay for uh, child care. You can still get your hair cut because if you're getting your hair cut, you're going to get on job interviews. You need your hair done, you need job interviews. Well, Anthony, why? But child care? I was like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Because if you're going out looking for a job, you still need someone watching your child. You can still eat. You can still, you know, live a comfortable life while you're in the middle of transitioning. If we just go down to the bare bone expenses, it's like, well, ah, ah. No, no, no. I want you to have the freedom to to not feel stressed. Now, there's a sense of urgency there because you have three months of income and that's it. Three to six months of income, that's it. Uh, but I, I really want you to have that freedom to, to, to really help you out with that. Let me go down to number three. I want you to invest. You know, I invest 15% of my monthly income. So I allocate portions of my monthly income, ideally 15% towards investments. 
You see, consistently investing a percentage of your earnings helps grow wealth over time through compound interest and market growth. This is something that I've, I've, I've really, really, and I do a little bit more than 15% personally myself because I have a big goal. But one of the things that I've really learned is that time and compound interest is my best friend. It's literally my best friend. There's so many get rich quick schemes there. We're seeing so many people in today's day and time. Hey, here's how you can make a million dollars. Here's how you can do this. And a lot of it is just a bunch of BS. I'm going to be real with you, which is why me and my team are very, 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 very uh, skeptical about who we bring on our show. And even sometimes, you know, I run about my team, prime example, when it comes to uh, making more income. And I will talk about this a bit, little bit later on, but like MLMs, I'm not a huge fan of MLMs, but I have aunties who sell for Avon, who sell for Mary Kay. And that's not a scam, right? But you do have MLMs that are kind of like scamish, right? But it's like, you have to figure out how do you invest? What do you want to invest in? And the stock market is something that I just don't play with. I want the long-term growth. I love the power of compound interest. So I'm investing into apps like Moomoo. Moo, and we can put their information in today's show notes to where if you open up an account with them, they're going to give you 15 free stocks today. I, I, I wasn't going to talk about them. This is not even, it, I, I, I totally forgot, right? But Moomoo is a game changer. Are you looking to really get into the stock market? Do you really want to learn more about the stock market? Do you want to start small? Man, if you put, you know, $500 into this Moomoo app, they're going to give like five free stocks. But if you really put in $1,000, take $1,000, instead of you buying food and going out on a date this month, go put $1,000 into this Moomoo. As a matter of fact, check out this commercial. Check, check this out. Let's go to that, Jay. I know I'm just swinging it, but let's go to that right now. What's going on, E3 investors? Man, let me, I got a quick question for you. Do you have some extra cash lying around? Before you splurge on those luxury items, I want you to think about this. What it could be if you invest that money and potentially multiply it. Let me introduce you to my friends over at Moomoo, Moo, the cutting edge investing app that's transforming the investment landscape with real time data, advanced analytics and user friendly tools at your fingertips. Moomoo Moo empowers you to make smarter, quicker investment choices. Whether you're a rookie or a pro in the trading arena, Moomoo Moo is crafted to elevate your trading experience. And guess what? Sign up today using my link and they will gift you 15 free stocks. That's right, 15 free stocks just for signing up through anthonyoneal.com forward slash Moomoo. With Moomoo, your trading possibilities are endless. And with commission-free trades, you've even have more reasons to invest wisely. Listen, why wait? I want you to sign up today at anthonyoneal.com forward slash Moomoo and see where your investment can take you. Your future self will thank you. So listen, <clears throat> we, 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 this, this is good. This is why I love what I do. Man. This is why I love what I do. Because I, I just been getting all my stuff. I've been using Moomoo Moo here, honestly, for like the last three, four months, and I'm loving it. I'm loving it. Uh, they're going to give you free money for investing. So check them out. Here's number four, because we got four more to go, and I want to stick to my new 35-minute show. So I don't want to bore you all. I'm going to give you all straight to the facts. Uh, here's number four. I wait 48 hours for purchasing anything above $500. I call this my cool-off period. Because I could see some, and I'm like, yo, yo, let me get it. Let me get it. Prime example. Can I be real with you? I'm going to be vulnerable with you. Um, the new Apple things came out. And I was like, yo, I want it. Y'all, I reserved me one. I went there, tried it on, played around with it. I was excited. I was like, yo. This is dope. Oh, my gosh. Whoa. Wow. Ooh, cool. Dope. Dope. Man, I've traveled a lot. I could watch a movie on a plane. I could be like this. I'd be like this. I'm like, dope. But, yo, because it was over $500, I implemented my cooling off time. You see, waiting 48 hours before making a purchase above $500 allows time for reflecting, reducing impulse buying, and promoting mindful spending. When I went back home, 
I said, do I really need to spend like $3,000, $3,500 on this item? No Netflix is on it. It's the first generation of it. I was like, is that even wise for me to do right now? Then as I cooled off 24 hours, I was like, okay, if I don't spend that $3,500 over here, where can I best spend it? And immediately I thought about my studio. We need to open up a photography room so we can, you know, allow people here in D.C. to come in and take better pictures, high quality pictures here. Uh, my One of our newest team members, Jay, young, brilliant, smart kid who's super gifted, he could destroy that room in a good way, bring in people, have fun video shoots, and it can generate money for him and for our company. Immediately, I say, yo, I'm not going to do it. I'm not going to do it. If I would have just bought that thing at the impost, I would have kept it. But because I said anything above $500 for me, for you it could be anything above $100. And anything above $100, I think about it. Here, here's another example. We moved into the studio and um, they don't have fiber internet here. Everything is still co-ox, which is crazy to me. But I could get a dedicated fiber line from Comcast. But when they hit me with the bill, it's $700 a month. $700 a month and then to get a dedicated line here now, or I can wait until July and pay $100 for fiber that's coming through another company. Immediately, I want to be like, yeah, I'm a studio. I need this. We go, we stream, da, 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 da. I need this. I took 48 hours. Within that 48 hours, watch this. I talked to my team. I talked to Jay. I was like, hey, Jay, are we seeing any downloads, any issues with our internet? He was like, hey, man, as of right now, we're not. It's not super fast on the upload. Compared to when we was at your house, you had a gig fiber over there, and we were uploaded within a matter of 10 minutes. But here we're uploading in a matter of 25 minutes, and we're still a month and some change ahead of time. So we're, we're good. We're straight. Cool, great. I didn't make that decision. Why? Because I gave myself time to really, really, to really watch this to think about it. So I want you to write down, what is your number? Your number may not be 500. Your number may be 100, 200, $300. But what is that number, right, that you need to think about, okay, I'm going to wait. Because for me, I'm going to feel $500. For you, you're going to feel 100. You're going to feel 150. You may feel 75. Whatever that number is, when you think about it. Here's number five for me. I pay cash for everything outside of real estate. I practice cash-based spending for non-real estate purchases. Um, I, you see, I avoid debt at all costs because I truly want financial freedom. I'm super excited because, you know, when my wife comes, it's gonna feel good that I do not have any debt. And when I meet my wife, if she does, I'm cutting the check because now I'm back in debt. But it feels good to go to sleep and know that I don't, I'm not bound to anybody. I'm not a slave to a lender, but I am. I'll be honest with you all and transparent. In a matter of wealth building, I, I do believe that, you know, if you do it wisely, like with my friends over that coalitions group, and we I'm gonna link that show, because that show is one of the best shows we've ever done as far as an educating around real estate. I do believe in investing in real estate and borrowing money in real estate. I don't believe in going out there getting so many units, but I do believe if you do it wisely with the right counsel, man, go out there and get you two, three rental properties with very minimum um, down payments out of your pocket and have the right strategy and practice the strategy and come up with the system to pay them off eventually. Uh, but I do believe for us to really in the African-American community to build wealth, we need to start tapping into real estate and we can't wait 20, 30 years to do that and pay cash for it. I'm just putting it out there and we're gonna be talking more on how we can strategically do that. But I want Michelle to link that video uh, to the coalition group because it's one of the best um, teaching shows I've ever done on my platform, which goes then to number six um, when it comes to the eight rules of building wealth, right? I'm continually educating myself, okay? I want you to commit to ongoing education about personal finances, investing, and wealth building strategies. I want you to lock in with me every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. I want you to go to my website every Tuesday and Thursday and read the latest article. I want you to subscribe to the E3, uh, to the Increase newsletter, to where every Friday we're sending out the education. Watch this. 
I want you to come and join the Financial Literacy Month, not just so you can possibly earn and win, you know, one of the $20,000 that we're giving away this month, but this month, uh, two times a week, we are giving you long emails that's educating you on personal finances, investing, and wealth building. You see, because when we can continually expand our knowledge, it empowers us to make informed financial decisions and adapt to changing economic conditions. Our, our economic is, the, the, the economy is changing. We should be changing with it, but we can't change with it if we're not continuing to learn and if we don't see what's happening. Number seven, I need you to review your expenses. Every single month, you should be sitting down with your budget. This goes back to your vision, but you need to be reviewing your expenses. I was just doing this for my company here the last uh, couple of weeks. Just saying, okay, where can I cut back at? You know, because now I have this building, it's, it's brought on a huge expense, you know, um, and, and it is an expense that I have to steward well. And so certain things where I probably did spend a little bit too much money, a little bit too lavish on, hey, I'm trimming back, right? Because I need to make sure that I'm stewarding the finance as well, but I can't manage what I don't track, what I don't review. So I want you to periodically review your expenses to identify the opportunities for cost saving. You see, cutting unnecessary expenses frees up more money for saving, investing, and achieving financial goals. So if you're married every single month at your budget meeting, you all should be looking at last month, hey, can we cut back on things? Listen, I don't want you to cut back to where you can't enjoy your life. You know if you can cut back and if you need to cut back. You know that for sure, all right? So I need you to really look at that. And here's the last thing, a money rule that I'm really living by, and that is this, number eight. You gotta build multiple streams of income. I want you to explore opportunities to generate additional income beyond your primary resource. Build multiple streams of income uh, that provides financial resilience and, and accelerates your wealth building journey. But you can't do that with solely and only having a nine to five job. You can't. What can you do in that nine to five? That could be your primary source of income, but what can you do in your nine to five job on the side, right? That allows you to, ooh, this is so good right here, to have ownership of your table. What if your job lets you go and you put all of your resources into that job, but you had nothing on here that was paying you an extra $500,000, $1,500 a month. What, what if this, and this is something that I'm, I'm thinking about teaching. Tell me if y'all like this or not. I want you to have a side business that at least takes care of the five main things that I call are your important money things. Your housing, your utilities, your food, um, your, uh, uh, your daycare, and your transportation. Those are the five main things. So if you have a child, uh, any child mandatory expenses, daycare, um, stuff like that, right? I, I want you to build a side business that at least takes care of these things to where these things are covered. I'm not talking about your hair, your, your lavish lifestyle, no, no, no. I want you to build a side income. Cause think about this. What if you had a fully funded savings account that had, you know, three to six months of your salary in it? Then your side business, one of your multiple streams of income, one of those streams just took care of your five major things that you need to take care of every single month. So if you did lose your job, woo, you got a nest egg of three to six months that you may not have to touch depending on how you steward these things over here because this income is coming in. But if you lost that job, unfortunately, which I'm not praying over anybody, but now you can put more effort into this stream of income. So now it's not just covering the five main things you need to cover every single month, but if you could put more time into that, maybe now you can transition to full-time business. But here's the truth, entrepreneurship is not for everybody. This is why I'm saying, hey, you need a nine to five job. There are so many people who thought Working a full-time business was for them. I'm gonna tell you right now, three years in, well, four years into this game, it's not for everybody. It's stressful. I stayed up to three o'clock yesterday, writing content, uh, doing book work, um, I'm doing a lot of different things. I don't get to go home at five o'clock and turn off and go to sleep. I don't get to go home at five o'clock, kiss my, kiss my wife, kiss my kids, and, and, and turn, no, no, no. When I go home, 
I'm, 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 I'm dreaming. I'm building. I'm thinking about what does it need? What does my company need to move on? That's what I'm thinking about. That's what I'm thinking about. And so I, I, I really wanted to give you all the eight money rules that has built life change. That is actually for me building life changing wealth. And if you can apply these money rules, you're going to see an immediate change. I have eight. I'm curious, what would you add to this? I want you to uh, leave it in the comment sections on YouTube. If you listen to some podcasts, hey, come on over to the YouTube channel. Leave it in the comment section and let me know what is one rule you would add? What is one rule that you may have for your life? I would love to read some of the comments and maybe add some of those to my life as well. But these eight money rules to building life-changing wealth has impacted my life tremendously. And I know it will impact yours. Listen, do me a favor. Check out my friends over at Bethel Tech. Open up that Moo Moo account. Hit that thumbs up and join the E3 community family. And last but not least, please make sure that you join us for that financial April is lit month. We're giving away $20,000. Can you believe this? I am giving away $20,000. Thanks to my good friends over at SmartWiz. And uh, we just want to be a blessing. Not only want to be a blessing, but we also want to educate you. So don't forget to join us. We'll put all information in today's show notes. All right, it's your boy, Anthony O'Neill. God bless you, and we'll see you in the next show. Peace out.